So I am officially fun employed. I just finished up my last animation gig and today after I film all of this I'm probably sitting down to file for unemployment. For folks that are new, hi, I'm Nia Dragon. By day I'm a compositor working in TV animation and by night I make merch for my shop Pretty Magical. I just got finished doing Marvel's Hitmonkey, which was really awesome. It was such a great experience. It will be coming out July 15th on Hulu, so please stream when it comes out. I really want to work on a season three. And like I mentioned before, I worked as a compositor on that project, which means I was responsible for adding special effects like lighting and any kind of magic or lasers, any kind of like cool things happening in that scene. I marry the animation, the backgrounds, and any special effects into a final polish that you guys see on TV. And again, it was so awesome. I really loved working on it and I can't wait for you guys to see the newest season. I was laid off, which it's pretty normal, don't worry. I know being laid off is pretty alarming to most people, but it was expected for me. Working in animation pretty much guarantees that you'll be laid off at some point. And that's not a reflection of your ability or anything or your performance. It's a very project-driven industry. Once a project wraps, that's usually it, unless they have another project they would like to move you over to. And in this case, I feel like work dried up quite a bit. No shame in it, every pro goes through it. This is actually the third year in a row that I've been laid off. And interesting around the same time frame. Come this time every year for the last three years I've been let go. I know that sounds like a lot still but I'm honestly kind of lucky that it hasn't been more than that. As of right now I don't have anything lined up just yet. It's no secret that the entertainment industry at large has been kind of crazy especially the animation industry. So I really haven't put a lot of feelers out there just yet for anything. And besides the industry being really dry at large. There was a lot of intentionality behind that. I've had somewhat of a difficult time lately and I've just been reflective on a lot of things like my life and how my art career fits into that. And I just like to really candidly share some feelings about being a professional artist and the trials and tribulations that come with it. So in all truthfulness, 2023 was a really good time for my career. I got to be a lead on Aqua Teen Hunger Force and I got to work on Marvel's Hit Monkey. And those were really cool projects, one of which I grew up watching. And I feel really incredibly lucky to have had the opportunity to work on them. And it's a really cool thing to work in the animation industry. But there is one thing that continues to bother me as a creative professional. When I got into animation, I kind of figured that the portfolio I was building would kind of inform the work that I was going to make in my career. When you're in school you get a lot of advice about creating a portfolio that really matches your style and your interest and showcases what you enjoy doing and wouldn't mind doing. Again, I kind of figured because of the portfolio that I was building while I was in school that I would kind of land where I want it to be. But the reality has been that a lot of the things that I enjoy doing are not the things that I do professionally. Prior to some of the really cool projects I worked on in 2023, I was really paying my dues, so to speak, working on adult animated comedies. I just wanted to include this clip to illustrate. This was an interesting technique technical challenge, but maybe not something that you would expect to see from me. For a really long time, this was the kind of work that I worked on and it caused a lot of personal dissonance with me. If we're being honest, they're not projects that really align with the kinds of things that I imagined I would be doing one day. There are a lot of shows that I worked on that I'm not personally interested in. And over the last few years, I've noticed that most of my day is being put towards these kinds of projects. So I've often opted to just carve out time for myself between my job and my personal life. I'm usually working after work on my shop or spending weekends working on projects and things. And I know that's not a very uncommon thing. Lots of people deal with it. Lots of people don't work the kind of creative job that I work. So they have no other option but to carve out that time. But ultimately, it's really made me feel like my art is just a side quest. And that's really not what I wanted from working in animation. I really feel like if you're going to work such a highly creative career, especially one that's quite unstable, there's really got to be a little bit more passion that I'm bringing to these projects. My work has been something that I could always circle back to in the event that my professional project hasn't been fulfilling, but that's also the downside. It's not the center of my adventures in life, and that really sucks. 
I know it's the double-edged sword of being a creative professional and something a lot of people have come to accept about working in the arts, but it really does take a toll on me. Art has always been this, you know, way for me to self-express when I've been too shy to do so myself. And I really can't say every project that I've worked on, I've really contributed my like own unique voice to. You're part of something bigger when you're working on a show. Occasionally you'll get to add like your own little voice in there, but it's not a consistent through line of your role, at least not mine. And so trying to strike a balance between the work that I do professionally and the work that I do for myself has been really difficult. So I didn't really account for this balancing act. I kind of naively thought, hey, this is the kind of work that's in my portfolio, so this is the kind of work that I'm going to do one day. And I also didn't realize how hard it would be to pivot into the kind of work that I do want to do. I've been advised in the past to just move to LA and that I may have a little bit more luck finding my dream job, but I just refuse to go to such an expensive city without a job offer. Plus, I feel like I entered the industry during a real downturn already. Remote work really did help me get my foot in the door. When I graduated, it was in 2020, so I was a pandemic graduate. But since then, there have been tons of like crazy things happening in the entertainment industry. We've got mergers, cancel projects, AI, the writers and actors strike from last year. And I've even heard there might be a tag strike later this year. So even if I did want to make this pivot, I just don't feel like the circumstances are right. I mean, you're looking at the lack of work. I was just laid off. I used to dream of of becoming a character designer one day. That is really what my portfolio was geared around when I graduated college. But the older and older that I get and the more projects that I work on, I don't really think that's my end goal anymore. The kind of stuff that inspires me now are the artists making, you know, studio vlogs here on YouTube. And to be honest, like, it's been somewhat of an epiphany for me realizing that that's more so what I wanted to do. I think for a really long time, I thought if I could work for a really notable studio like Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network, I could really platform my own art. But again, in working on a lot of these projects, I realized that it you are a part of a bigger puzzle, which isn't a bad thing. I do love working collaboratively, but what's special about being a YouTuber is that it, it's all your creative voice. It's all your own art. There's no art director or producer telling you, change this, change that. And that is so much of what I crave these days is just creative control over the work that I put out. When 80% of your day is working on someone else's project that's your expertise, but like not your voice. For me, I found there's like a lot of desire to just get back to making art that's just for the sake of art, for fun, you know? Another thing that I realized too was that I want to be an artist, right? That shares my work online, but I've never really made the connection that artists online or influencers, it's always been separate for me. So I think of like a really popular influencer right now is Alex Earl. And that's who came to mind when I was thinking like social media content, like influencing or Apple Cheeks. They're influencers. And for as shy as I am, unfortunately, I still really have this desire to like put my voice out there. So when I entered this year even, I was kind of thinking more along the lines of like how I could make that happen for myself. Another thing that kind of brought on these thoughts about like influencing versus the cushy animation job were some really unfortunate events that happened a few months ago. In February, I had one of the most difficult weeks of my life. My boss passed away unexpectedly and then just a few days later, so did my uncle. And it's just very difficult and honestly just really hard to wrap my mind around. My boss and my uncle were around the similar age. My boss was 38 and my uncle was 45. And to me, that's really young. The experience of losing both of them, especially back to back, has really put a lot in perspective for me. I hate to be morbid. I like to veer more on the optimistic side, but these things really made me think. I've always thought that I had plenty of time, but that might not be true. Now, I hope it's true, but 
you know, the truth is that it might not be. And so it's had me thinking for a while, if I was here today and gone tomorrow, would I have done everything that I wanted to do? And I think the answer to that is no, I haven't. There's still so much that I want to do and a lot of things that I don't prioritize. I find myself pretty fatigued after work typically, or if I'm, you know, trying to carve out that time after work, it's, you know, pushing the boundaries between spending time making my own art and also am I getting enough hours of sleep before I have to get up in the morning so yeah I've been trying to figure out where is the balance and making art for myself and also showing up professionally I was really lucky on this past show to have such an amazing team that didn't allow for me to burn out as quickly I did still experience a little bit of burnout post the obvious tragedy that happened to our team but so at least for the foreseeable future while I kind of recuperate from the burnout that I've been experiencing. I really want to spend more time making work for me and making an effort to even decenter the nine to five. So I would say, at least for right now, my dream scenario would be to work on my shop and my business and make YouTube videos and stuff and keep the door open to being a freelancer in the animation industry. It'd be nice to be able to structure my day a little bit more freely and how I want to structure it, you know? and really have a balance between the work that I do for myself and for others because again, at the end of the day, I could be, you know, gone tomorrow and would I have spent enough time working on the animated project that I wanted to work on or this thing that I want to offer in my shop. And again, I'm super grateful to have worked on all of these projects and been able to be a part of such amazing things. But life is too short for all of my time to be funneled into a project that I may or may not be fulfilled with. I just want to put more of my own unfiltered voice into the world. Anyways, if you made it to the end, I just have one favor to ask from you. Like this video and comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Again, thanks for listening. And if you'd like to support me during this period, I do have a Patreon and a podcast called Heart to Heart where I go a little bit more in depth with my experiences in animation. If you have any burning questions, I'd be happy to answer them there. And yeah, again, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.